हाय गाइज आई एम समंदर सिंह फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग आर ए कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी कोकस जयपुर टूडेज टॉपिक इज ईयर वेसल्स ईयर वेसल्स आर यूज इन सिंगल एक्टिंग रेसिपोटिंग पंप इन जनरली एंड ईयर वेसल इज ए क्लोज चैम्बर कंटेनिंग कंप्रेस्ड ईयर इन द टॉप पोर्सन एंड द लिक्विड एट द बॉटम ऑफ द चैम्बर an air vessel is fitted on to the suction pipe and to the delivery pipe at a point close to the cylinder of a single acting reciprocating pump valve at the base the uh, at the base of the uh, chamber there is an opening through which the liquid may flow into the vessels or out from the vessels when the liquid get uh, enter the air vessel the gas is compressed and further when the liquid flow out the vessel the air will expand the chamber the reason why we are using the air vessels in the reciprocating pump there are three main reasons first is to obtain a continuous supply of the liquid at a uniform rate second is that to save the uh, considerable amount of water work in uh, overcoming the frictional resistance in suction and delivery pipes third to run the pump at a high speed without separation the figure shows the uh, single acting reciprocating pump with fitted air vessels at suction side and delivery sides as one figure the air vessels are uh, filled with the liquid at bottom side and upper side having the compressed air the air vessels are fitted near about to the valves that is below the suction valve and, and discharge line or discharge pipe that is above the discharge valve when the liquid uh, level in the air vessels rise, rises the air above uh, is compressed this compressed air forces the liquid as soon as the pressure in the pipe falls the variation in the air pressure may be reduced by increasing the capacity of the air vessels in the delivery pipe the liquid beyond the air vessel is assumed to flow with a uniform velocity vd when the piston forces the liquid into the delivery pipe with a velocity greater than the mean velocity vd the additional liquid moves into the air vessels then the velocity is less than the mean velocity the additional liquid flow out of the air vessels and make up the deficiency the volume of liquid present in the portion of the delivery pipe between the cylinder and the air vessel is accelerated the same region is applied to the air vessels fitted on the suction pipe now the calculation for the air vessels first rate of flow of the liquid uh, into and from the air vessels consider a single acting reciprocating uh, pump the mean discharge from the pump is given by q equal to l n upon 60 again that can be equal to the a to r that is l equal to twice of the r the ra, r is the radius of the crank and n is equal to uh, omega upon 2 pi that is a into 2r into omega upon 2 pi the instantaneous discharge to and from the cylinder of the pump is given as qd equal to vd into ed that is ar omega into sin theta hence the net discharge at any time into a from the air vessels will be the difference of the above two discharges the rate of flow of the liquid into the air vessels equal to the ar omega sin theta minus ar omega upon pi or we can say ar omega into sin theta upon 1 upon pi if the equation is negative value it means the liquid is flowing into the air vessels and if it is having the uh, negative value uh, positive value it means the liquid is flowing into the air vessels and negative value the liquid is flowing from the vessels considering a two uh, double acting pump the mean discharge from the pump is qd equal to 2 ar omega upon pi where is the instantaneous discharge to from the cylinder of the uh, pump is qd equal to 2 r omega sin theta therefore the rate of flow of the what liquid into the into from the from the air vessels equal to the ar omega sin theta minus 2 ar omega upon pi 
that is e r omega can be taken common sin theta minus 2 upon pi the work done against the friction uh, with air vessels the work done by the reciprocating pump is equal to the weight of the water discharge per second into the head total effect by that is hs plus hd plus hf s2 plus hf d2 plus v s square by 2g plus vd square upon 2g plus 2 by 3 hf s1 plus 2 by 3 hf d1 where v s and vd the flow velocity of the suction and delivery pipe the work done by the pump per second with air vessels on both the suction delivery pipe is gamma into al upon 60 into hs plus hd plus hf s2 plus hf d2 now thank you